All right, good morning, everybody. How are you guys today? I'm glad to see the sun came out. I wish I could have taken the wind with it, but we'll hopefully uh, our notes and braids won't blow away while we go through this, right? So, uh, so first of all, again, good morning. Thank you all for coming out today. Um, looking across the audience, we've got uh, a great sampling, of course, our law enforcement community as well as some of our base leaders, Chief DeLucy, uh, Senior DeLucy. Thanks for coming out. Security Forces Squadron leadership, thanks for the invitation. Appreciate you guys uh, letting me put my braid back on once in a while and participate with the the security forces crowd really do appreciate that um, to our base honor guard to chaplain tran and uh and to all the organizers who put this event together this is the perfect way to kick off police week uh cop fellowship all together out here and and getting ready to, to go into a series of events to, to think about the folks that we wear the badge with and, and, and their sacrifices their dedication so uh, way to go guys way to get this started um, to the men and women of law enforcement, especially those folks here in the 30th Security Forces Squadron and Air Force OSI Detachment 804, uh, it's an honor to join you today to celebrate the dedication, the professionalism, the sacrifice of your law enforcement community. As both a Space Launch Delta 30 leader and a, a career Security Forces officer, the importance of this week is not lost on me. Uh, for those of you guys that did not know, in October of 1962, President John F. Kennedy signed legislation in the law that established National Police Week. In part, that legislation reads, whereas the police officers, police officers of America have worked devotedly and selflessly in behalf of the people of this nation, regardless of the peril or hazard to themselves, and whereas these officers have safeguarded the lives and property of their fellow Americans, and whereas by the enforcement of these laws, these same officers have given our country internal freedom from fear of violence and disorder that is presently affecting other nations. These men and women, by their patriotic service and their dedicated efforts, have earned the gratitude of the Republic. With these words, the Congress and the President formally established May 15th as National Police Officer Memorial Day and recognized the week of May 15th as Police Week. In 1982, the, in the initial Police Officer Memorial Service was held in Washington, D.C. Attendance at that event was sparse. About 120 survivors and police supporters came out. But over the next 41 years, the importance of what Police Week is and the, and the recognition of, of their sacrifices has grown exponentially. And this year, yesterday, uh, the event was expected to draw almost 40,000 people to Washington, D.C. And President Biden himself was the keynote speaker. Well, here at Vandenberg, our kickoff event's probably a little more modest. And your speakers are certainly less polished than the President of the United States. I don't think we hold this week to be any less important than they do in Washington, D.C. Since our nation began keeping records of law enforcement line of duty deaths, 21,000 law enforcement officers have been killed in line of duty in this country. Their names are found engraved on a National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in Washington, D.C. In those 230 intervening years since we first began keeping count, the men and women of law enforcement have continuously answered their community's call. Every day in cities big and towns small, rural counties, major highways, and even on U.S. military installations, as you guys in this audience very well know, law enforcement professionals arm up, stand guard mount, and assume their post ready to act as sword and shield. They defend their communities and their citizens from threats, they keep the peace, and they protect the defenseless. And sometimes, sadly, they pay with their lives. Yesterday, May 15th, was the 59th National Police Officers Memorial Day. And this year, our nation mourned 472 officers lost in 2021. That's the single largest number in any given year since we began keeping track. Today, as you know, more than ever, it takes a special breed to wear the badge. 
The past two years have been challenging for law enforcement all across America. Departments and individuals have been forced to come to terms with not only facing the pandemic, economic struggles, a divisive political scene, but they've also faced aggressive defund the police movements, anti-police narratives, and rising violence. Despite these obstacles, the men and women of law enforcement know their communities need them. They remain integral to the successful functioning of our society, and they enable our basic fundamental rights as Americans. They, you, have sworn an oath to protect their citizens and communities regardless of your personal beliefs, political beliefs, religious affiliations, race, sexual orientation, or economic status. The weight of this burden is not solely carried by officers in places like Minneapolis, and Portland, and Louisville, and Seattle. It's felt right here in California, in Santa Barbara County, in Santa Maria, in Lompoc, and here in Vandenberg. Our defenders and OSI agents also carry this burden. You too have felt the tide of popular opinion sway away from law enforcement support. You've watched the news in disbelief as your fellow officers have faced the incredible magnifying glass of public scrutiny in the aftermath of a lethal force event. Your hearts have been broken over the news of another officer who lost their life to suicide. And you pray for the family of those killed in the line of duty. In spite of these challenges and turmoil, this law enforcement community here, Team Vandenberg's community, will arm up and post today knowing that, to, to paraphrase the author, Dave Grossman, that you are the sheepdogs. You live to protect the flock and confront the wolf. And thank goodness you're here to protect this flock. So during this week, as we honor the men and women of law enforcement, I encourage every one of you to take some time out of your day to tell our own law enforcement professionals thank you. Come cheer on the, the community here during uh, the Warrior Challenge. Sign up for the jail and bail. Join them at the closing ceremonies, enter the shooting competition, anything you can do to come out and support our police officers and our fellow law enforcement professionals. To the men and women of law enforcement from the bottom of my heart, I'm grateful for every single one of you that chooses to wear the badge. Thank you for your service and I pray for your safety.